What is up, YouTube? Thank you for joining my new Teaching Trends channel. My name is Carla. For those of you who have joined me today, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. We talk about all sorts of trends from YouTube trends, things you can do to grow your channel, job trends, work from home trends, and some trends in healthcare. That being said, we're going to jump right into our topic today about engagement. We all know that we want people to watch our videos, so the best thing to get them to do is engagement. YouTube remembers what we look at, what we like, what we dislike, and what we subscribe to. This is why sometimes when we subscribe to certain channels, we might not necessarily see their notifications. For instance, if I'm watching a bunch of shopping videos and I want to know where to shop, where to get shopping hauls, and I have people that I sub for that necessarily don't fall in that particular area, YouTube may not show me their notifications. It may show me the notifications of all of the people who do shopping hauls. So keep that in mind. What you watch actually is counted on YouTube. And if you watch a lot of different Different stuff, you probably get a lot of different stuff recommended to you. And I get that as well. So let's get into engagement, views, likes, dislikes, subscriptions, your overall popularity. You may notice some change in metrics as it may get frozen because a lot of times YouTube now is going to count the value of your playback if someone watched your video long enough. And you may see some views kind of disappear at times. And this is because they're counting it as a low quality view. The person did not watch the video long enough. So let's go into engagement and see how we can increase our engagement. Because remember, engagement is the key to getting a lot more views on YouTube. So we're going to go to engagement and there are instructions here on how you can go to use this on your computer, Android or iPhone. Top videos are explained in your analytics. So if you're not looking at your top videos, go back in there and check them out. Your top playlists, your top posts, your top cards. And if you're not using cards, please start adding cards and end screens to your videos. They count for a lot of clicks. If someone even just sees your end card or sees a card or list advertised, that counts towards an impression and could lead to a potential view. Key moments in audience retention. I just made a video about this on how you can look at your videos and look at those key retention marks. Even dislikes will count towards your video and remixes on your own content. So this definitely does help in the engagement. But what is the number one thing that YouTube recommends to get you views to help with your engagement? Well, we're going to get to that right now. What you see right here on my screen is what YouTube recommends. Take control of your comments. And you're probably thinking, well, I don't get a lot of views. Or if I do, I do respond to comments. But in this post and interact, not only should you respond to comments, but also play around with your pinned comments, because pinning a comment is engagement as well. It will count as a potential number or impression on your video. Go back to some of your older videos, even if those videos didn't get a lot of views. Your audience wants to interact with you. The main reason you're here on YouTube is to interact and to increase that engagement. So a way to increase your engagement is to post and interact. I have gone back to some of my older videos where I didn't do so well at responding to my audience. I started responding on older content, pinning certain contents, and even changing certain comments at a particular 
particular time in my channel. So I went back to older videos, videos that maybe got 20 views, started pinning comments because every single person that engages on your comments and your videos and your content really is someone who's interested. A lot of people that view don't comment. So you really want to give attention to those that are engaging on your content and driving you in the algorithm. Respond to their comments. Go back to some of your older videos. Go back and pin comments that you felt were really important or hit on a key point or really focused on or maybe asking a question that other people in the comments may have wanted answered. So it's just not about views. It's really about the interaction. It's really about the engagement. So make sure that you are engaging with your audience, everyone. Make sure engagement is key. You want people to engage and interact with you. And make sure you take that key tip. Use your pinned comments to increase your engagement. Hopefully you've learned some things here today. My name is Carla, formerly of Carla's Career Shortcuts, now here of Teaching Trends. I want to thank everyone for joining me, for liking, commenting, and interacting. It has meant everything to me. Hopefully you'll take this as motivation, everyone. With that being said, until next time, everyone, take care.